we are going to convert this parametric equation to Cartesian, aka rectangular. So for our answer, we should just have an equation with only x and y. And the strategy is, let's take a look of the x equation and isolate the t. And once we have the expression of t, we're plugging that into this t right here of the y equation. So let me put it down. x equals to 1 over 1 plus t to begin with. This is an equation with fraction. Let's multiply both sides by the denominator, which is just 1 plus t. This way, we can get rid of the fraction, and then let me not distribute the x on the left-hand side. Let me just put this down as 1 plus t times x is equal to 1. Because our goal is to isolate this t, and we have 1 plus t times x, let's divide both sides by x so that we get 1 plus t on the left-hand side, and this is 1 over x, right? And of course, we can just move the 1 to the right-hand side. So we get the expression t is equal to 1 over x minus 1. And then we are plugging this 1 over x minus 1 into the t right here of the y. So let me put down y, which is equal to 1 over 1 minus. All these are from the original y expression. But for this t, we open the parentheses and then put in 1 over x minus 1. And then the rest is just, we have to do more algebra to simplify this fraction. Let's distribute the minus into the parentheses. So we are talking about y is equal to 1 on the top over 1 minus 1 over x, and then minus times minus becomes plus 1. On the denominator, we have 1 plus 1, which is 2. So we can say this is y equals to 1 still on the top over this is 2, and then we have minus 1 over x. This is a complex fraction, and usually the complex fraction is not allowed for the answer. And to simplify complex fraction, we just pay attention to the denominator of the baby fraction, which is the x right here. Let's multiply both sides, I mean top and bottom, by that denominator, which is just x. And this is the final answer. y is equal to 1 times x is, of course, just x, over 2 times x. So we put down 2x, and then x times 1 over x is just 1. And that's a minus, so we have minus 1. Final answer, y equals to x over 2x minus 1. And this right here is it.